Why was this movie hyped up so much? I don't get it, but let's talk about it. Today, I'm back with another mega unboxing and review for you all. Today, I'm going to be showing off the brand new 4K Scream Factory release of Black Christmas. So I'm going to open this one up to show you all what you can find on the inside. Also go over what special features do come on the disc. Plus go over my thoughts on the 4K visual and audio presentation. Do a quick little review of the movie because it was my first time watching it. Then ultimately give my recommendation on if this is worth the price. So let's get right into it. Let's take a look at that front cover. Very iconic Black Christmas cover. I believe this was the same one they used on the Blu-ray disc. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that release. But yeah, you just got a famous kill scene from the movie surrounded by a Christmas wreath. Now this doesn't super catch my attention or pop off the slip cover, unfortunately. Would have loved to see some newly commissioned artwork, some really creative design with Black Christmas, but it works okay. Now let's take a look at the spine. We have Black Christmas, nice big font. I love that. Like the image there, got the Screen Factory logo, and we can tell this is a three disc set. Now let's take a look at those three discs to see if there's anything special on the inside. Maybe we'll get some really cool artwork. Let's see. So taking a look at it now, we can see that no special artwork on the inside, unfortunately. Now we do got our three disc set here. You kind of got it on this floppy little disc thingy. And ooh, Scream Factory, you mess up again. Because you can see the discs are already falling out of those disc holders. Scream Factory, you're doing a terrible job with that. We got to pick up our game for next time. Because this is not the first time that has happened. If any of you have had that Scream Factory problem before where discs just don't want to stay on their disc holder and fall out, uh, let me know in the comments below. Maybe Scream Factory will hear us if we're all collective in this. Uh, but yeah, that's a big issue. Don't like that at all. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take out each of the discs now to take a look at their design. So let's start with the 4K Ultra HD of the film disc. Let's take a look. We got Black Christmas there, the iconic house, some Christmas lights there. I know the colors look very faded to me. Maybe that's on purpose, but doesn't really catch my attention too much. So, uh, yeah, I know it's a scene from the movie, but maybe we could have done a better job there. All right, let's take a look at that disc that just wanted to fall out of the disc holder. And we got another iconic scene from the movie. Got the stalker going after one of his victims, but very bland coloring. Once again, just a scene from the movie. Uh, doesn't really catch my attention. So, uh, Scream Factory, you slacking on me now. I don't like that. All right, let's take a look at this one. The special feature Blu-ray disc. Another scene from the movie. Once again, doesn't really catch my attention at all. None of the colors pop here. So, ooh, very disappointed on these discs. And once again, on the inside, just nothing special. No art design. Very flimsy looking case. Unfortunately, ugh. Scream Factory, what are we doing here? All right, let's take a look at the back now. Uh, you can zoom in and pause if you want to see all the detailed special features. Uh, but we do get a lot of audio commentaries, which are fantastic if you're a fan of the film. We get a lot of special features, but I don't think any of these are new. I think these were the same ones on the Blu-ray disc, but they are very insightful. You get some of the main actors from the movie talking about the film. You get people that worked on the film talking about it as well. Just kind of the behind the screen talent too, which is nice. And there's a whole lot there, even some archival uh, interviews and featurettes there. So there's a whole ton of hours of special features. If you really want to dive in deep to this movie, maybe you're a massive fan of it. Or I just kind of went into the special features just to see kind of more how the movie was put together, gain a little bit more appreciation of it, how it kind of started, you know, the slasher genre in some regards, being one of the first ones out there. Uh, so yeah, that gave me some good perspective. So I did like the special features. I did check out on that. Now, in terms of the quality here, we do have uh, 4K scans from the original camera negative, which is really nice. They did some restoration work on... <laughs> the mono audio tracks which is great as well uh so overall i think they did a solid job probably the best they could now i don't have anything to compare this to in terms of seeing the blu-ray or the dvd or anything like that but just from my eye test of viewing this for the first time i thought the 4k did look quite good uh wasn't blown away by it didn't think it was amazing or anything like that compared to other 4k discs of other movies i've seen but i thought it was quite solid 
Uh, same with the audio. I thought the audio was quite solid as well. Wasn't blown away by it. No Dolby Atmos track here. It's just a 5.1 uh, DTS Master Audio track. But it still sounded solid. Still was pretty good overall. So visual, audio wise, thought was pretty strong. Just wasn't super blown away by it. Uh, but that's just me only viewing it one time. Not really having much other Black Christmas movies to compare it to unfortunately um but there we go now in terms of the movie itself let's just talk about the film real quick because it was my first time watching it i thought it was solid i didn't love the movie i didn't hate the movie it was kind of in the mid-range for me now i was appreciative of seeing hey kind of one of the first horror slashers out there that kind of started out that genre i love the you know first person perspective with the stalker going into the house i thought that was very creepy and atmospheric uh, the phone calls were pretty terrifying with just the noises. Was like, oh my gosh, what am I listening to right now? Uh, so there was a good atmosphere about the movie. Definitely very horrific in that way. Now, where it let me down a little bit was just kind of like the characters. I wasn't really connecting to them in any way. So that's where it was losing me a little bit on the story there. It's like, oh, well, if I don't care about the characters... Do I care what's really happening to them? So I did like some of the pieces of the film, once again, in terms of the filmmaking and putting things together. I thought there's some really cool things there. Uh, but overall, once again, just getting back to the story and characters, uh, that's what made me not love the movie. Like I said, I appreciate the film. I can see why people do love the movie. I'm just not like a massive fan because it's not one I grew up with. Like I said, first time watch for me. It's not like, you know, to me, Halloween or Friday the 13th or Nightmare on Elm Street. I still prefer those movies. So I think those are more entertaining than this one. Uh, but I can still appreciate this one for what it was and get a little bit out of it. But maybe I need to watch it again. But there we go. That's my quick little review of the movie. Now, if it's worth the price, just this release, it was about 30 bucks or so. Pretty high price release for a movie. And uh, I don't think it was worth the price for me, unfortunately, because once again, I'm not a massive fan of Black Christmas. It was a complete blind buy. Uh, so maybe if you're a massive fan, it would be worth the price. But I just didn't like, you know, the inside lacking art. I didn't like, you know, just kind of how the discs looked. Uh, the special features they did have were great. But I don't think it was any new special features. I think it was everything that was on the Blu-ray disc. So if you had the Blu-ray disc, I think you would be just okay with that. So you're really going it with the 4K upgrade quality in mind. And like I said, I thought it was solid, quite good. But I wasn't blown away by it. I didn't think it was amazing. The greatest 4K I've ever seen of all time. Um, so I can't recommend that on that alone. And once again, for the movie itself, if you've never seen this movie, I would cautious you on a blind buy of it. Uh, I would say only if you're really a big horror slasher fan and you just want this one for the iconic nature of it, uh, then maybe think about it. But like I said, the price of 30 bucks just kind of, uh, I would say, be a little bit more cautious on this one. Unless you've seen the movie, you, you love the movie, you want the definitive collector's edition of the movie now, then yeah, sure, pick up the 4K. But just for me, uh, probably wouldn't buy this one again if I had to do it around a second time. Uh, just because, like I said, enjoyed it for what it was, but didn't love it. Don't know how much more times I'm going to want to uh, rewatch it, unfortunately. But if you completely disagree with me out there and you love this movie, let me know in the comments below what were your favorite parts of the movie. What you like about it so I can gain even more of an appreciation for this movie myself. Or if you're like me, that maybe you were a little bit disappointed by it. You don't absolutely love it love it you just think it's kind of fine let me know that in the comments below too so we can get some fun movie discussions going back and forth and if you love collecting physical media just like me and being a part of this merry league of film fans make sure you subscribe right now to stay entertained and up to date on all the latest physical media topics And if you like this physical media topic video, click another one to see more. And if you like spreading holiday cheer, make sure you smash that like and notification bell for all to hear.